Hello and welcome back, my beautiful Froggy army, to another video. As we all know, the main focus of New Horizons is indeed the decorating. The game starts you off with a blank island and expects you to fill it all in, and decorating it beautifully so that a naked singing dog shows up on your island. And obviously it's a pretty big deal for a lot of people. I mean, some people have even dedicated entire YouTube channels to it. When we introduce ourselves amongst other players, we not only talk about our favorite chip that we could easily eat the entire bag of, uh, barbecue baked lays, but we also proudly boast the aesthetic or the theme of our island as that has just become another bullet point in our about me sections. So decorating and island bills are a pretty big deal to the majority of New Horizons players, but oftentimes I see one question being asked over and over, not only directed at me personally, but I also see it asked on the daily on Discord, Twitter, pretty much in every corner of the internet. That question being, what should I build? on my island. And it's a tough question, honestly it is. I run a whole channel and I put out a lot of decorating videos and I can personally attest that figuring out just what the heck to put on your island is hard sometimes. So to solve this problem, I wanted to put together some actual useful tips. I have been thinking really hard about this and I don't even know if I make sense at this point, but hopefully some of these points will resonate with you and maybe even help like five of you. That would be great if five of you could get some takeaways from this video. And I did want to give a quick shout out to Nukazan. Not only will I be mentioning how to utilize Nukazan in order to help you think of ideas for your island, but they are the perfect way to trade and sell in-game items and to find services like bulletin board drawings, mystery bags, yard sales, and so much more. So once you finish watching this video and inevitably have some new ideas for your island, head on over to nukazan.com to buy or trade any of the items that you may need. So without further ado, here are five tips to figure out exactly what the heck to build on your island. Number one, inspiration. Now the most obvious and easiest answer is looking at what other people have done and either doing something similar or spinning your own version of it, maybe with a different theme, with different design codes, etc. And this is still a valid tip, so I wanted to mention it briefly, but I'm gonna give you way better ones after this, okay? So please don't click off the video. My other tips are going to focus on how to come up with your own genuine ideas from your own brain, but there's nothing wrong with being inspired. I myself have seen a pretty picture on Twitter or Pinterest and did something similar on my own island. I do want to throw it out there that you should always give credit when you can and even asking the creators first is always appreciated. But with that being said, Pinterest is a gold mine of inspirations, codes, anything you could ever ask for is on Pinterest and you can even make boards with different inspirations for different areas of your island, different aesthetics, all kinds of stuff. And some other good options for finding inspiration would be scrolling through the hashtag of your favorite themes on Instagram, ask your Discord server to send you pictures of their islands, check out the Animal Crossing subreddit, they always have really good unique posts on there, and there's so many platforms that you can find inspiration on, it's just a matter of finding something that you like. Even Nukazon has an island inspiration service where you can go and visit other people's islands directly and physically be on their island and get that inspo. Number two, use items that you already have. Moving on to the more unique tips, number two would be to base something off of items you already have. Much like trying to create a meal using only the ingredients you already have in your pantry, this method is basically using the ingredients to come up with the idea versus coming up with an idea and then trying to buy ingredients. So I'm gonna go into my storage right now and literally show you how you can do this. Really, we're just trying to spark ideas here so you don't need that many items. Honestly, two or three is enough to think of something and this doesn't have to be a humongous build with simple panels and stuff like that. It can be something super small, not complicated, so don't worry about it. All right, I have not planned at all this part of the video. I am literally just going in my storage right now and we're gonna try to come up with something. I'm gonna try to make this pretty generic because it really depends on what kind of vibe you're going for on your island, but I'm gonna try my best. So I don't know if this is cheating, but right off the bat, I have some candy machines and a cotton candy stall. And right here we have a little menu chalkboard, a couple varieties and a little popcorn machine. 
So all of those together, I already see like candy store and I have built a candy store on my island before. So I don't know if that's cheating, but right there, you know, there's a bunch of similar items grouped together and I'm like, oh, okay. That makes me think of a candy store. Right here, we have some plastic pools and a little lawnmower, a couple of lawnmowers and a little hose reel. And this makes me think of like someone's front or backyard. So this would be really cute to put together um, a villager's yard. You could use this little lawnmower. It has this yellow color with the white and pair it with this plastic pool because it has the little uh, yellow rubber ducky. And then other stuff you could add. This little wooden bucket would be really cute. Maybe next to the pool. Maybe, I don't know, someone's playing with a bucket in the pool. I don't know. Of course, you could add this hose reel next to some flowers because that'll signify that, you know, you're watering the flowers with the hose reel. And then you can just keep going based off of that idea. You can put a little table nearby with a little coconut juice or maybe some of these frozen treats, you know? Everyone needs a little snack while they're playing outside. And since we already have a little kiddie pool, you can add a little beach ball nearby as well. So that's one idea. Here's another one for you. I have these sewing machines and I also have these little sewing projects. So that's a cute little thing we could do. We could make like a little sewing area, craft area. If you're into crafts like me, you could do something like that. So you could pair together any one of these sewing projects, any one of these sewing machines. You can go up and find your little teddy bears, dolls, any sort of stuffed animal items that you have place those around, maybe put the sewing machine on top of a desk, and then put some of these little plushies nearby to uh, kind of show that someone's making them, you know? I think the mom's plushies would be a really good addition as well because they look super homemade and very, very cute. And if you want to add more crafty stuff um, other than just sewing, there's stuff like painting sets. I have this little modeling clay thing. You can even add this little pop-up book and that could be like scrapbooking or something like that. Some sort of little paper crafting also going on. So you could make like a little crafting area either outside on your island. Maybe one of your villagers is going to be doing that or you could do it inside of your house if you're a crafty person you could add that into your office or your bedroom area so yeah that's what i mean by going through your storage i know i have a lot of items because i do a lot of builds all the time but i guarantee you that you can put at least one build together with the stuff that you already have and like i said if you don't have a lot of items um you can also recreate this on nookazon just browse through whatever categories you want and you can sort by color, size, themes, and you can add these to your wish lists on Nakazon. You can make specific wish lists for different builds, different areas of your island, anything you want. And you can also do it that way if you just physically don't have the items on your island and then you can go ahead and trade for those items. Number three, think of past events in your life. This is probably my favorite tip in this video just because of how many different ideas each person can come up with from the same tip. You're essentially using real life to inspire you and it doesn't have to be in the past either. Think back to stuff you did as a kid, a cool place you went, your favorite chill spa in your room right now, a restaurant you really like to go to, virtually anything Thing can become something cute on your island. And it doesn't have to be something super fancy either. One of my favorite builds on my Kidcore Island is this laundromat, which isn't something fancy like a castle or a pretty little meadow. It's where you go to wash dirty clothes. Of course, I made it cute and colorful so it fits in my theme, but this is a great example because I decided to make it because I went to laundromats a lot growing up whenever our dryer would break, which was a lot for some reason. And it's not like going to wash my smelly socks was something I looked back on fondly. It wasn't a fun thing like going to a theme park or something. It was just an ordinary, boring, not glamorous thing that I had to do. But you can take these ordinary parts of your life and use them to inspire your Animal Crossing Island. And even if other people have already done a laundromat or whatever you're thinking of doing, I still think that anything that is based off of your life and your experiences will always be unique to you because it came from from you. Number four, your favorite media. But your inspiration doesn't just have to come from real life. Think about your favorite books, your favorite movies, your favorite TV shows, your favorite video games. I've seen people do Pokemon Island, Stardew Valley Islands, uh, recreating movie screenshots, all kinds of crazy unique stuff. So really just think about your all-time favorite stuff and maybe there's something that you can recreate or base something on your island off of something in a movie, in a TV show. Like I said, there's so much stuff out there. Literally, I just 
thought of something right now while recording this. Uh, I don't even have this written down. It just came to me. One of my favorite shows is Regular Show and they have like a little snack bar where they sell snacks in the park that they work at. It's in the middle of a park with a bunch of little seating around it as well. So that's just something small from a TV show that I could do on my island. Number five, recreate a unique image. This is also one of my favorite tips. I think it's so fun and there's so many possibilities. The best example that I have is back on my fairy core island, I was googling like mushrooms or something similar to that and came across this image which I thought was so stunning and I ended up recreating the idea on Animal Crossing on my island and it came out so so pretty. I still love this build so much. But it's really easy to find real life pictures, real life inspiration, stuff like nature and forests is gonna be really really pretty and really inspirational I suppose. If you're doing a theme, Google buzzwords that relate to your theme. If you're doing cottage core, Google cottage, Google meadows, fields, forests, wishing wells, all kinds of stuff like that. If you're doing fairy core, Google unicorns. Look up fairy circles, fairy houses. Just look up simple terms that relate to your island's theme and you can find some really, really pretty pictures that can really help inspire you. But of course, not everybody is doing a theme and that's totally okay. If you don't have a theme, there are no rules on Animal Crossing. That's the best part about this game. Just kind of whatever you feel like doing. Maybe you have some specific items that you kind of want to use up so maybe you can google stuff in relation to those items. Maybe you have a couple of mush parasols so you can still go ahead and google mushroom even if you're not doing like cottage core or anything like that. Or even if you don't have a theme and you want to do something that is kind of cottage corey, you know, you don't have to necessarily do your whole island in that theme but you can go ahead and just kind of look for cottage core inspo and just maybe do like one or two things. So I really hope that some of those tips made sense and that it helped you out a little bit. Really it's so hard to put into words how to like think of stuff you know so I really tried my best. I hope I helped you. If you liked this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you are into Animal Crossing and want to see more Animal Crossing videos I post twice weekly and I also live stream every single Monday at 4 p.m. EST. I will be leaving the links of any creators that I did feature in this video down below so please check them out and of course if you would like to join my discord follow me on social media do anything like that buy my merch all the links will also be down below for you once again i hope you liked this video enjoyed it and found some inspiration i hope you have fun building whatever you're gonna build next on your island thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one